junkyard dog, <laughs> Aaron Peterson. <laughs> What's good, JYD? I'm good, man. How y'all feeling? I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling good. You, I know you got to be feeling good. I'm feeling great, man. Brutal first round knockout victory. How you feeling about the performance? Um, I, I made one mistake that I saw. Well, I made two looking back at the film, but I'm not going to go over what they were. But I did make two little mistakes, but we're going to get them fixed um, for the next fight. I give it a um, give it a B plus performance. Um, it was a 30 second knockout. How many mistakes can you make in 30 seconds? It was, it was <laughs> um, apparently about two. So, you know, we got we to get that shit down to zero. Um, you know, they say nothing is perfect, and that's true. Only Allah is perfect, you know, but I want to be as close to perfect as possible. And, you know, we're on to the next one. Uh, shout out to my opponent. Like I said, I'm game guy, ready to fight. I appreciate him. He took the fight. My other people wouldn't. He took it at the last minute, too. Much respect and appreciation to that man. Came out with the jab. Was that, was that the point of emphasis for this camp? Absolutely it was. Um, the jab is the point of emphasis of every fight. You can't jab, you can't do nothing else. Um, so, you know, we work behind our jab, we get it rolling, we get it cooking, and we set it up from there, keep the distance, and, you know, pop that jab. The jab felt great tonight, though, so, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy with my jab. How, how was the training camp set up for this fight? Man, beautiful training camp. Bread man is a dog, man. Bread man is a dog. Um, you know, getting up early in the morning, five, six in the morning, running, doing my hills, doing all that with bread man. Um, Julian, shout out Julian Williams. You know, me and him was in camp. We always in camp together, but he just had a fight too. Jules, Jules just go ahead and got a stoppage too. Um, Kyron was in the first half of my camp too because Kyron had a rumble too. So we all was in camp together, mixing it up. Kyle was in the joint, Joel was in the joint. I was in the joint with Kuko too. So we was all getting a whole lot of work, a whole lot of sparring, you know, in dog shape, all of us. We three and no right now. Kuko up next and Caleb playing up after that. So, you know, we rolling right now, baby. So you, you've been out the ring for a while, man. It's been yeah. a lot of, lot of upsets you not getting in the ring. How was the feeling being back in the ring? Um, believe it or not, you know, by the grace and the mercy of Allah, mashallah, this was the most comfortable and composed that I've ever felt with any fight. Um, I know I was out and it wasn't by my hand, but sometimes, you know, the powers that be have to do their job as well. And they did, so I understand it and I respect it. Um, so some other things also happened, but we're not going to get into that. But it was nothing legal, nothing irresponsible, nothing like that. That man over there, my dad, he ain't going to let me do nothing irresponsible. Don't want to bring it on. He ain't gonna let me do nothing irresponsible anyway. Him, Bray, man, I ain't gonna do that to myself. My family, everybody, they depend on me, so. But uh, it was just some powers that be. Everybody did their job. Shout out to the commissioner, the officials, the doctors, the referees. Everybody was involved in it. You know, everybody doing their job. So it kept me out a little bit, but that's okay. We back. Now, you, you heard him visibly to the body, right? Yes. Like, what did you see to let you know to go in for the kill? Because you threw like a, a eight, nine punch flurry all to the body, um, to the head. So what happened was, I was just lining up the shot. Um, I ain't gonna tell y'all what Bray Man told me because I'm gonna keep that out, but he told me to do something specific and I followed the instructions of it. Um, so when I set the shot up, I seen it already. I just needed him to, you know, get up on the ropes. We cut it off. Once he got up on the ropes, boom, set the left up, boom, came over the top. And then from there, just walk down, place it to the body, place something to the head and, you know, set it up like that. So it was it was all set up and calculated. We knew, we knew his fight style. We know the way he fights. Um, we know his tendencies. So we just try to play to that to the best of our abilities. Um, he's, again, super huge on film. My dad, he's huge on film. So he keeps me updated on everything. And we went about it like that.